Okay, this is a crystal radio actually driving a 12 inch speaker through a impedance matching transformer. Okay. Drivers, red light runners, high speed merging. It's no wonder traffic crashes are the leading cause of death for those under the age of 25. That's why it's so important that we do all we can to reduce our risk on the road. As you're driving, That's just wild. And it's actually coming from a 50 ohm uh, ham antenna. Oh, wire fell off. Hook it back up. First, first, right here on America's Morning News. We're at 34 minutes. Day after the hour. Good Monday morning, everybody. The first day of October. Right, it was probably louder earlier when it was running on high power. The station powers down. I'll be able to get other stations. I can hear another station coming in. I should hear more. I'm trying to find out which which. Uh, is louder. There's 16, 8, 4 to choose from. I'll go 16 to 8, I guess. And then I've got these other impedances on the input. Try. I don't know which one's loudest. That one just sounds loudest to me. But I'm I'm actually using a 65 foot inverted L antenna that I use for you know my transceiver. You know, which is not even a good crystal radio antenna because it run through 50 ohm ballon into my shack, but. You know, I've probably got a close match in that primary winding, which is the green winding. Uh, I really would have wished I'd have tried this out when uh, I separated these coils when I uh, was testing it because when the coils were too close, I had way too much volume from this one station, which is KOMA or KOKC, which is, uh, you know, overrides other stations here at night. Uh, as the sun's come up, or is coming up, the other stations are powering up. I have already can hear in the background Radio Disney right above KOKC and soon I should be able to pick up about four, four other, three or four other stations during the day and separate them fairly well from this really powerful local station that usually dominates everything so it, it will have good tuning as I can uh, as the sun comes up it'll have better tuning but just to me that's just incredible I, I was driving a 15 inch guitar speaker on a, probably at least 10 foot of wire and I could hear it and I thought I'd grab this old vintage uh, Zenith speaker that I just assumed it was sensitive. You can always tell a bright speaker, and I had it hanging on the wall, so I got it down. And thought I'd try it with a, an old Muzak transformer. These are new old stock transformers I found in my junk pile. Uh, I love it. You know, you never, never can't have enough cool stuff like that. But uh, I'm really kind of thrilled with this lips stuff. There's uh, it's 10, 10 strands of 38 lit wire in these coils and of course I got them painted. Uh, one of them was on a 3 inch uh, 13 pin form and the uh, second one I uh, 
tactics and trade it's like three now point uh, to keep three and seven eighths in you know very well. form he is so that's the, the green primary it's about uh, 17 turns of wire and the secondary is 50 turns with a tap for the diode at about 17 turns and the capacitors here are combined and uh, they're, they're about uh, 370 PF total you know together I did a little measuring with those and yeah I've set it up on uh, you know my uh, Agilent 8285 to, to try and make it right anyway that's the crystal set I just love this ugly old heater knob I wish it were in better condition there's a little bit of chrome with flaking on it here and there but it, it it's just kind of goes with the gaudy coils to have a big gaudy knob on this and you can see I've loosened the uh, verbal capacitor where it's easy to turn it's just by you know spreading the, the the frame out on a vise earlier when I was uh, cleaning it up to the point to where it didn't bind down on the bearings as much and still made good contact and you know didn't have you know too much slack if any you know in the uh, bearings I didn't want it to screw up short out and flop around but I wanted it loose enough to where you know it, you didn't have to put effort in turning it of course this will keep the dust out the clear plastic box be real good for you know, easy to clean this and not have a bunch of dirt in the thing when you go to play with it next year, you know. Got the standard banana jacks, but I uh, open these uh, wire holes with a drill so that, you know, standard pin, uh, headphone pin jacks could go into the sides here but the back of course I didn't do that but it could be done easily um, I've got a pair of antenna and ground connections back here the uh, tank circuit is uh, electrically isolated from the antenna coil so it's just real simple. You know, just got an antenna coil and two terminals for it, magnetically coupled to the tank and detector. You know, for the uh, listening pleasure. And uh, I should be able to get back on this later on and pull up a few stations. I I got two right now and they're a little mixed there should be several of them later on today I guess I'm going to wrap it up for now